Hey guys, Charles here with D2IPDesigns.com and I'm bringing you another tutorial. Today is going to be a Photoshop tutorial where I go over um, this abstract kind of poster I did. Not really big enough to be a poster, but um, if I had made it bigger, then uh, it would have been big enough to be a poster and I could have called it a poster. Anyway, um, useless rambling. Uh, I got a request to show how I did this. It's uh, pretty simple but uh, it, it renders out pretty good effects um, so let's go ahead and just kinda go over this real quick uh, so we're gonna go ahead and open up a new project and I'm gonna come down here to the custom shapes and uh, just we'll go with the triangle uh, let's change the color to black so we can actually see it on the white here and so I'm just gonna draw out a couple random shapes and let's just kind of position these wherever it is that we want them let's just do something simple like this alright not perfect but I'm not worrying about it so next thing um, go ahead and find a render like a Cinema 4D abstract render um, or whatever you want to use, but I used an abstract render. And just grab it out, scale it up to be however big, rotate it into the position you need. Maybe we can try something like this. Okay, now you're going to duplicate it three times because we have three different um, shapes we want to put it in. So here, here, and then here. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to hold Alt and see the line right here you're gonna hold over the line and just click there and then same for the next three there you go okay so what you do is you create a clipping mask and basically that means um, that this object here is um, gonna be cut off by the area of your shape so if you got a triangle and you wanna put an image over it just clipping mask it and the triangle will cut everything away um, that goes outside of it but you know if you undo the clipping mask everything goes back to normal so you know you don't have to cut anything or edit it, it saves a lot of time pretty nice um, so next thing we want to do is maybe just move these around a little bit I don't have to move them a whole lot just so they look a little more random than what they do now because like currently you can tell it kind of looks like it's all one piece and I just want to make it a little more random maybe so maybe go with something like that and now if you want it to kind of blend in with the background which is what I wanted then you just come in here and then change the shapes to white so, so just like that and then you know but I'm gonna undo that real quick just so I can see everything better for the sake of the tutorial and speed it up. Now what we can do is um, just duplicate the shape layer. That's going to undo the clipping mask as you can see. So, you know, just have to redo that real quick. Oop. Okay, there we go. Now, uh, grab the um, custom shape tool again and then we're going to turn the uh, colors off and then go to stroke and then add a stroke of I don't know however many pixels you want I'm gonna go with three and then choose a color you want um, you can choose from these swatches here or you can do like a custom color here from the co um, color picker and I think I'm gonna grab just this like purplish pink color here and use it and so there we go and now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and move it up and over and I'm going to drop it beneath the layer and there you go and then maybe just duplicate it just drag it out a little more and let's change the color to a blue something like that and then again just drop it down below the uh, pink, pink uh, outline and um, yeah so basically you just kinda of play around with it um, you guys should have basically the general idea 
um, you know, obviously you create the lines doing this, you know. Just adding some random lines in there like I did in this here, you know. So, you know. Nothing overly complicated about this, but it looks pretty cool. And I'm sorry that it probably sounds like I'm not talking very clearly and I'm kind of going um and uh a lot. Um, see, just like that. I just did it. I'm not sure why I'm doing that. I feel like I'm having like a really slow day where I'm like, uh, just can't focus and I'm kind of scatterbrained. And my mind's all over the place. So please forgive me for that. Hopefully it doesn't ruin the quality of this tutorial and frustrate you guys. Um, now we can duplicate this, um, move it down, um, duplicate it again, move it down, and then the middle one here, I'm going to move up like that, maybe drop it below one of them. Oh, I, I made that one part of the clipping mask, I didn't want to do that. And again, I made it part of the clipping mask because I'm not being smart right now. Anyway, so now we have one, you know, going over the top here. Like I said, just play with it. Figure out what you like. Um, we can add in some circles. Um, hold down Shift and Alt so you can scale it um, and keep the ratio right. Move this over here. And then what we can do is duplicate it, drag this out right here. Whoop, change the color of it to, I don't know, gray. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a selection on it. I'm going to rasterize the bottom one here, rasterize layer. And then go to select, refine edge, or excuse me, not refine edge, what am I doing? Select. Um, modify, expand, and we'll expand it by two pixels. Now as you can see that's, well it, it did exactly what it was supposed to, it's, it increased the uh, outer width by two pixels and now under the uh, pink here we can just hit delete and it cuts out a nice little wedge from the uh, paint that the um, gray fits in very well as you can see. So you can do some really cool random effects and then you know that's pretty much it that should pretty well give you a good idea of some of the things I did and how to do it. Um, again I apologize for my stuttering and babbling. I know it probably is kind of annoying and I probably sound dumb so uh, forgive me for that. And if you have any more tutorial requests put them in the comments and I will try and do a tutorial on them as soon as I can and hopefully they turn out a little better than this one. Alright guys, I'm out of here. Peace.